Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering, okay, where have I been? It's been a while, it's been a hot minute, but I am back. And I'm super, super excited because so many things are changing for me at the moment. And I'm basically going through the biggest like transitioning phase and new chapter, a big chapter for me. I'm gonna tell you more about that. First of all, excuse that I am currently in my bathroom. I'm actually getting ready now for the new ghost launch. I'm getting ready to go shoot some content for ghosts. But I'm in my bathroom. I'm gonna do not really makeup because I don't really wear that much makeup, but a little bit covering my red face because rosacea green. And then I think I'm gonna shoot the video at my mom's. But I thought, okay, this is a new chance for you to get to know me and also for me to get to know myself. So I'm starting fresh here on my YouTube channel and I will be uploading consistently. My plan is to be uploading once a week and be consistent with that because I'm finishing school very, very soon and it's the first time in five years I don't have university. I have been doing hauls here and there, but it's just been so inconsistent because when with exams and stuff like that, we have exams every ninth week, so there's a lot of stress going on with uni and I have been running my own business as well. So I'm just looking so much forward to finishing university and this is gonna be the first time in five years that I actually have time to just only focus on my clients myself and making content and some people are made for studying and guys I'm just not made for studying okay my anxiety when I have oral exams I am sick a month before and a few weeks after like it's not worth putting myself through situations where I need to be taking meds and not be feeling myself and getting a depression every single time because my anxiety when it's really bad causes me to get depressions so it's it's just not worth for me and i'm looking so much forward to finish it and this is like not just yeah, i'm nervous i got nerves it's like full-on anxiety like i do not function i'm not a normal human being i don't recognize myself when i have oral exams i lie there sleepless at night and I always get sick and I don't think it's worth getting a depression every single time. It's just, it, it's gonna be over. Whew, looking forward to it. So now it's a new chance for me to be uploading consistently. Like I said, you guys are getting to know me more because I feel like sometimes for Instagram, it's just so hard to show your, show more personality. Like it's videos, they can be fun and stuff like that and photos, but for, photos are not really, oh, this is my personality-ish. So, I miss doing YouTubes and in order for you to get to know me, I'm also going to get to know myself. So after filming content at my mom's, I am actually going to do a DNA test or I have done it already with my mom and I just got the results. So we are going to check them out. Anyways, I will get ready now. Putting on my little miracle cream. It's actually also a sunscreen protection. 50 SPF 50. Super important to protect your skin. I think I'm just gonna be inside for today. I have been sick for 12 days, so I haven't even been outside. Yeah, I have been to my chiropractor, seen her, and got a few cracks here and there. Then I've also seen my psychiatrist for the last time, and oh my god, I was just, uh, guys, I was not ready to let go of her, but she is retiring next year and I am moving away. So that was so bittersweet. I have been with her for seven years and I absolutely loved it. She's like my rock, you know, and for someone who has anxiety, it's just really nice to know, okay, I can go there, I can call her, book a meeting, stuff like that, book an appointment. But she said I'm ready and She's ready to let me go. I'm doing so much better. It's gonna be really scary. I'm not gonna lie, like I don't feel like she should let me go. But I am doing better and I feel like I'm using all the tools she has given me every single day. So there's not much more we can do there. And also I can't really keep being patient when I'm moving away, you know. Anyway, so for the DNA test, I don't even know what. Why is this not mixing? Does it look good in the camera? Sorry guys, I cannot do my makeup looking in the camera because that's just so hard. I can't see if it's mixing all right, so I need to look in the mirror. <laughs> but I think it is, yeah. Okay, I have these two and I just can't cover them. I shouldn't have popped them, shame on me. I definitely, I definitely know better. 
in my 27 years of being alive, I should have known that I should not pop my pimples. No. No, no, no. Anyways, I think that's as good as it gets. Let's go to my mom's. Men det jeg tænker er, vi må bare stille op og ring, og så helt stille med kameraet. Ja. Så spiller musikken sådan her. Og så grabber jeg dem, fordi det er boxing the other day. Ja. Det er en trend, hvor folk de grabber hinanden, så der er en her, der står her, og så kommer kæresten ned. Så er en. Men jeg er jo en gym rat. Nu ser vi, om det fungerer. Ja, ja. Ja, man. Jeg ved ikke, hvad det ser ud, når jeg grabber dem. Så er det cool ud? Ja. <laughs> jeg synes faktisk, at den er ret cool. Yeah. Det er muy bien. It's perfecto. Ready? Jeg starter. Set. Go. Go. Hej, fuck. Jeg var off. Jeg var off. Det var min fejl. Okay, jeg har så muligt. Ready? Set. Go. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> det er at der hænger en vaskeklud på den vandhane. Har du fået den med? Hvor er det længere her? Bloody perfect. Bloody perfect. Åh, <laughs> oh, cute. Det er så cute. We did it, guys. My girl. We filmed the reels. Thanks to my mom for being my biggest supporter and for helping me make content. The real queen, the real MVP. So we are logging in. Again, ignore the mega dirty screen. I swear it's not that dirty in real life. But we are ready to explore my ethnicity. Guys, we're just looking at the DNA right now, the results, and we feel like they have they have been cheating. They have been they they have been messing up. It's not my DNA. <laughs> like I swear, it's not. I am sixty five point four percent North and Western European. Yeah, thirty one, thirty two point one percent Scandinavian. Okay, that makes sense. Two point five percent Eastern European. That is quite a surprise. That is a surprise. I did not expect that, but I did expect something more exotic. <laughs> So I was hoping for something more exotic. Um, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I'm in shock. It's not what I expected. Hi guys, it is currently currently four o'clock, four p.m. And I wanted to jump on here because I I didn't really wrap up the DNA thing. The DNA test, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I grew up my entire life being told that I had certain genes from this country and this country, you know. And we've always been told, oh, you have this and this many percent like of Spanish in your blood. And I grew up believing that. And now there's no Spanish, but so many other things that I did not no. Obviously, I was told like some French as well. It's it's still showing French, but <coughs> that was just that was just like a plot twist. I feel like so it was really not to sound ungrateful or not not happy with what I was showing, but it's just such a plot twist. Hang on, somebody's calling me. Yeah, I just have to wrap a package and then we can go. We are not gonna sit with a winter jacket inside. Okay, guys, sorry. Gonna have to wrap it up now. I'm gonna wrap this package and then I'm gonna head out for dinner. I know I say dinner and it's only four, but I haven't had lunch. I had breakfast at nine. I just can't process that I'm not from where I was told I was from. I'm probably making such a big deal out of it more than I should, but yeah. My advice is don't do these DNA tests, honestly. I, th I think it's a scam. I think they have, I think they messed it up. Really, I think that is not mine. That is not my result is showing. They must have swapped my test with someone else's test. That's the only explanation. I really don't want it to sound like I'm so ungrateful for where I'm coming from, but I feel like I feel like my life has been a lie, really, at this point. Really, we have this ancestors tree, like everything. I don't know if you call it that, but we can see where your entire family is coming from. And it's been done by people in my family. But anyways, I'm gonna get ready now. I'm gonna send a dress because I'm selling out a lot of my clothes. I'm gonna have to go to the post office, send that, and then we're going out for dinner. Celebrating life, you know, because there's so much to celebrate. Anyway, so 
I'm gonna get ready now and see you guys. Hi, thank you. Good evening, guys. It is currently almost 9 p.m. the same day. Why can't you see it? Focus. Yeah, the same day. We're at my mom's apartment, actually. And we came here to watch TV. We're not really watching anything. I mean, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned it earlier in this vlog, but we no longer have couch. And we just come here to chill then. And I'm also trying to edit this YouTube video. I managed to also edit the video my mom helped me record earlier today. So that is all done. Filmed, edited, written a caption. So ticking boxes. And I was actually just supposed to do that in a couple of days. So I am ahead of schedule. And that is so satisfying. So satisfying. Oh, we should also remember to cancel the berry session tomorrow if I can't go. Mm -hmm. Do you think I should go? Do you think you should go? I would love to go because I don't feel like going to the gym. But then just go and take it very easy. Yeah, I, I can't take it easy, you know that. I cannot not push myself. But I think I'll just go. Up to you. Hmm. <laughs> So basically I haven't been training for 12 days because I've been down with the flu. It's been absolutely kicking my ass this time around. Sometimes I feel like four days, like five days is fine. But if it's more than that, then I just completely lose motivation to go to the gym. It just triggers my anxiety so much going there because I feel like, oh my God, I haven't been there for so long. I don't remember what to do and stuff like that, which is completely ridiculous. Of course I remember that, but it's just all in my head. So I think it's gonna be nice starting with a berry session even though it's quite high intensity and i'm not sure my cardiovascular system can handle that yet but i'm gonna give it a try and i think that is gonna be it for this vlog first vlog coming back first vlog of many so i hope i'll see you in my next one and if you have any suggestions for what you would like to see then please just leave them in the comments below okay love you bye